Hi, I'm Mike Lasusa, Superintendent of Schools here in Chatham. This September 27th, our Board of Education will present to voters a series of referendum questions, all aimed at addressing critical infrastructure needs in our school district. This video provides a brief summary of those projects. To begin, the Chatham High School Auditorium is in dire need of investment. The auditorium was built in the early 1970s and lacks modern features. The proposed referendum question will replace all of the seating, wall coverings, carpet, lighting, and other features with modern furnishings. It will also make the auditorium fully ADA compliant for attendees and performers. At Chatham Middle School, there will be two projects presented to voters. The first will be a renovation of the auditorium, which dates to 1958. The 60-year-old auditorium is in need of new seating, a new sound system, new lighting, and a new ventilation system. In addition, the flooring contains asbestos, which will be removed during the renovation. The referendum will also bring this space into ADA compliance for attendees and performers. Also at Chatham Middle School, the district will construct three new state-of-the-art design and technology labs, as well as renovate the art rooms that are original to the building. Numerous studies show that it is critical for students to have a strong foundation in computer science, design, and technology. Our students and teachers in these areas are constrained in our current classrooms, which were not designed for these purposes. A modern, state-of-the-art facility will enable our staff and students to engage in innovative, creative, and exciting learning. Our elementary schools have been stretched beyond capacity for a number of years now. The referendum includes a four-classroom addition here at Milton Avenue School. By building here at Milton, the district is able to undertake a less costly addition because there are already two stories and an existing elevator, which makes the project ADA compliant from the beginning. By building here at Milton, we'll also have greater flexibility for district-wide programs, which potentially will be able to open up space at Southern Boulevard School and Washington Avenue School. The referendum also addresses one of our primary athletic facilities, the Cougar Field Athletic Complex. The bleachers here are old and rickety. The sound system is antiquated, the parking lot is in rough shape, the concession stand needs an electric upgrade, and there are other features like the macadam and the fencing that need to be replaced. The referendum will also include a cinder walking and running path around the perimeter of the site. Finally, the referendum includes partial roof replacements at half of our district schools, a long-term investment in the future. Most of the above projects qualify for state funding in the form of debt service. If all projects were approved by voters, the net cost to taxpayers would be just under $12 million, which is about half the cost of the previous referendum. Each project will be presented as a separate question, so voters may vote yes or no on each question individually. Should all of the questions gain approval, the impact to the taxpayer would be less than $10 per month for a home assessed at $700,000. Thank you for watching this video and please remember to vote on September 27th.